Joe Biden has been hiding in the bunker for over a year. That continues to this day, and for very good reason. The last time Joe Biden was out of his bunker bubble and available to speak with regular Americans, this happened. You are actively trying to diminish your second amendment right to take away your gun. You're fourth. All right, now, Governor, shush. Right. 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 Shush. I'm not taking your gun away at all. You need 100 rounds and you're in the middle. I did not say that. That's did. not true. I did it's not say that. Video. It's a viral video like the other ones are putting out that are saying they're lying. The whole voice, you said that you're taking the gun away. Oh, he just learned it. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Hey, hey, take your AR, your AR-14s and what? Okay, this is not okay. Hold on, hold on. All right. Hey, let's get moving. There's a lot of guys. AR-14s, all right. Jerry Wayne may own an AR-14. He's the last person to ask Joe Biden an unscripted question to his face. A perfectly reasonable question, by the way. Joining us now to talk all about it is the man, the myth, and the legend, Jerry Wayne. Thank you for joining us. Hey, thanks for having me. I'm actually glad you brought up the AR-14. Actually, a little quick segue just to get things kicked off here. Um, I do have an AR-14. It's actually an AR-15 that says AR-14, but I am actually coming out with an authentic AR-14, and you can go ahead and get yours. But you got to follow me on social media to get it. That's awesome. So it's pretty exciting. We're coming to <laughs> the man out of jail. Come and get Okay, so Jerry, what's it like being the last person to actually talk to Joe Biden? Last normal American who isn't scripted, who isn't from some type of um, corporate fortifying organization to talk to Joe Biden? Well, a lot of people asked me if he had a lot of cognitive issues at the time. And when I, when I was at that time, I didn't know the man before. So I couldn't really speak on that. But seeing how things are progressing, it seems like his cognitive issues are actually declining right now. And I think the entire world knows this. A lot of people like to ask me what that experience was like. But I tell you what, the, the, the man is absolutely a bully. And I think that we showed our true colors as American at that time. And he showed his true colors as, a, uh, as something that actually doesn't work for us at that time. You're actually seeing your question come true. You asked him about banning guns, and now they're banning guns. Now, he lied to your face. Uh, how does that make you feel? Well, I tell you what, they just they just had another uh, a gun law like this passed in the House, and now it's going to go to the uh, the Senate. And if that passes, like it's not looking good. Do I think it'll pass? Absolutely not. But it is very detrimental to our rights as uh, as human beings and, and as Americans. And I want to actually touch on a little bit of what Joe Biden said. I believe it was March 11th. He came out and said that we may or may not be able to celebrate uh, Fourth of July, our independence. And if we do do that, he's going to dictate exactly how many people we actually have there. So I have a message from all the hardworking Americans that are too busy working their jobs right now to give Joe Biden and all these other one, all these other people that are actually giving us a voice their salaries. So the message from all these hardworking Americans is go ahead and try to make up. Because I tell you what, Joe Biden and the Biden administration, free men live here, free women live here, and we'll be damned if we have our 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 holiday of a, of a nation, a free nation, be dictated. That's right. It's absolutely, it's, it's absolutely egregious that the Independence Day, Independence Day from tyranny, is now complete tyranny on this day. George, King George himself would never have thought to lock Americans in their homes and force us to wear masks, take away our jobs, and give us uh, anal swabs. It's just insane. Jerry Wayne, thank you so much. You're a patriot. Please follow. Jerry has some awesome things coming up, his own show. Look forward to all of that. Come back yeah, soon. Jerry Wayne, AR-14. Jerry Wayne AR-14. All right. Thank you.